hello, hello, hello. And he was like, hello. Do you know where I might get a portion of drugs from? <laughs> I used to fantasize about the perfect vagina. Talking about dick pics though, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, reverse me! <laughs> oh, wow. God. I am the man. He's the man. And I just opened the door, my mind just like that. Ah. And then he, he inserts the crayons in you. We done that in school. You went to the same school as Adam Road, didn't you? Yeah. He, he, <laughs> he shagged me bird with his fucking SIA badge on his arm and everything. Uh, and then, Every yeah. time I've seen Jamie, he's got a fucking drink in his hand. Is that what alcoholism is? Yeah, it is. <laughs> Honestly, your honour, Jamie wasn't saying no. He was going... <laughs> Producer man Danny in the corner. He said he fucking hates you and he's going to smash your head in. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. I'm here with a public service announcement, Tony. Hi, Jamie. What's that, mate? This week's episode's brought to you by the world leaders in Blow the Belt Male Grooming. Manscaped.com. But I'm not here to blow the belt. So put your todger away. Because I want to talk about the face. Look at that. Look at them pretty eyes. I'm clean shaven, baby. Clean shaven. It's an electric face shaver for a quick and convenient way to achieve a clean shaven look. Whether you're looking to sharpen your neckline, give your face that smooth finish. Oh, dolphin. The handyman has you covered. Go to manscaped.com and use the code... Green room. For 20% off and free shipping, it's time to go from 5 o'clock shader to, yeah, baby. No one likes a weird beard, so say goodbye to all your stubble with Manscaped's Beard Hedger. This thing is a juggernaut of fixing faces. First off, this cordless trimmer has a rotary wheel that gives you 20 hair cutting limbs. You're thinking, oh, no, we're going to have all these 20 different guards. No way, Pedro. It's all in one guard. It's Manscaped. They know what they're doing. Get on the new handyman. Code word green room. 20% off and free shipping. And you, yes, you, could look like Tony Carroll. Let's get into the episode. Thank you. Green Room Podcast. That one's green room. Fucking change that fucking oh, shoe, it? lad. Sounds like we're fucking pair of goths. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, you know, yeah, it's all about your delivery, though. And he told a joke, and me, Danny, and Bobby just didn't react at all. He went, see, it's all about delivery. Like, with the snot, Pete, you just shit. <laughs> and he was fuming. Did you? <laughs> we're going to whenever you just want to. Oh, sorry, mate. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> Fuck you, then. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Hot Water's Green Room Podcast with me, Tony Carroll. <laughs> Fucking hell, Jamie Hutchinson and uh, new manager, it seems. <laughs> <laughs> Dirty Danny with a rash day, like. We're not allowed to say that. What, is your rash not cleared up? <laughs> <laughs> Every special guest this week. Returning guest. Returning guest. Returning one guest. of our favourites, Mr Gary Highland. Gary Highland. Nice one for having me back, boys. Thank you, mate. I, no like, the top, I like the top. What Thanks, it's, it's a midlife crisis, it's what it is. Oh. Um, it's a limited edition Japanese football top, uh, anime style. He released it and never wore it because it's shit. And I bought it. So what? He never wore it. I don't know. I, I seen it online. I was like, bit of me that, and uh, decided to buy it. I seen you with your glasses on before. Yeah, with your little Japanese hipster top. You look very northern quality. Look like you look years off you. Looks. I look like I touch kids with him. The you, glasses are fucking terrible. Like, I liked them. Thanks very much. Are you going through a phase, are you? No, I actually need glasses now. A few, oh. weeks, <laughs> a few weeks, a few weeks ago, my eyes just started giving me grief, and I was like. My eyes fucking killing me, yeah. And I just like closed my fucking left eye and I couldn't see anything in front of me. I was like, need an eye test. And they were like, yeah, your right eyes on this lazy's like, so I've got a pair of bins and I look like a fucking pedophile. I so. like them. Thanks. I like them, mate. I like I that. Think, I think you should own it, man. They bring out your face. You look younger in it. <laughs> Seriously. Put them on. Yeah, yeah, I'd love to see it, yeah. Seriously. Because yeah. previously I thought you looked like dead divorced, nice but. <laughs> dead divorced, nice one. <laughs> Oh yeah, I like that, okay. yeah. It's nice that, you know. What's that with you, baby? Like, like a little round room. I couldn't wear glasses. I don't think Peter Ginner for me. <laughs> <laughs> You'd have to get them, like... You know, remember, like, you know, like the fucking the dress-up shops in town with the big massive sunglasses that you'd have to get because your head's huge. Like, fucking... <laughs> like, sorry, sorry, Tony, I didn't mean it that way. I didn't mean it that way, Tony, man. Uh, it's not me. I've, I've got a big head. The camera's zoom in on me. Yeah. Is that what it is? Yeah. I, I don't see glasses. I'm a contact lens. Man. If you look, if you wore glasses, you would look like you know them them uh, paedophile hunters who not not paedophile hunter, they're the actual <laughs> paedophile who gets nicked. 
<laughs> you're like you ruined, you've ruined me all day. You ruined my old days. <laughs> you ruined my old day. Go off my glasses, <laughs> mate. You would look like a fucking absolute case, mate. Do you reckon? Yeah, I think I've, 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 if you had glasses on, like kids would own them. Let's see. Oh wow. God! <laughs> <laughs> he looks like he looks like he talks about about Oxbow Lakes and smells of coffee. Don't he? He's a geography teacher. Look at him. Oh yeah, uh, the difference between a mountain and a hill. You know, you've got kids, yeah, yeah, and you know the you know the man. I want to tell the man. If the man, yeah, he's, he's the, the man. man. <laughs> Look at that, yeah. lads. I am the man. He's the man. Now behave, naughty girl. <laughs> wow. <coughs> wow. <coughs> Do not say it. No. Uh, no. Fuck off, man. You've got a mad head, though, haven't you? You've got like yeah. a pear head. I was a thingy one, a forceps baby. You I mentioned this last time, yeah. Squash me fucking. Yeah, we said you look like Egghead in the movie, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. Cold, Conehead, sorry. Cold heads. Cold heads, that's it. Are you, are you forceps? I don't think so. C-section. Vaginal. I think you might have just push me out, yeah. I'm in. You're the world's first surviving miscarriage, you like. I seen a video today saying, what what's like twelve inches and makes me bird scream and I put it inside of a, a miscarriage. <laughs> oh, fuck me. How long are we in? Listen, <laughs> listen, right, listen. We need some clips from this before, one. Before before we get deep into it, I've uh, I've brought gifts today. Oh, oh yes! I brought oh, gifts please. food, oh, man. Oh, so right. Don't be getting excited. We've not had gifts in ages after these. Oh, I know, oh. yeah. I seen I seen a clip the other day of yourself, Tony. Yeah. On the our social media. Yeah. I know you're a massive fan of fancy dress. Right, so I've got you a gift <laughs> to go along with your fancy dress. So. I've got you a Shrek cup, lad. Oh. <laughs> yes, <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, Thank but you, whilst, No worries. But whilst I was in the, uh, the crockery aisle, right? Yeah. I seen something and I thought, that'll come in handy if an event eventually happens, right? So. If your mum ever decides to come back, I've got your mama bear mug as well. Mama bear. So if your mum ever decides I miss Tony, I don't think she will now. Thirty one now, mate. I know, but mama bear. We can believe she missed all like you know with the cute Tony. Still no. cute. Don't fucking say yeah, that about yourself, actually, yeah. sexy bastard. Thanks, mate. Well, mum, if you're watching this, there's a cup of tea. I hope you don't fucking come back. <laughs> I'm fucked up. I was gonna smash, smash that. Smash it there. Don't, don't smash <laughs> that. <laughs> Don't smash them up. Ah, I like this though. That's good. Where I was going to get you right, I, I was going to buy a bottle of fucking GH Mum champagne for some skins. I can't afford it because <laughs> it had Mum on the front. But I was like, nah, it's 36 quid. Did you get it for Jamie? I did, yes. For Jamie, so <laughs> <cook> yourself. <laughs> yes. And, uh, Excited. Oh, it could be my granddad's ass crack. Oh, it's close. Is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's going to bring back oh. fond memories, right? For the day. <laughs> A bounce ball. You wiped your nan's ass and your finger slipped oh. in. So you got some dropping fingers. <laughs> 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 yes. Reminiscent of the days you fingered your nan. I love chocolate fingers as well. <laughs> I would have fucking started telling a story. Two more. There's two dabbing. more. Oh, come on. Oh, it's maybe it's spoiled there. Oh. oh. It's no, no sponsorship involved here, right? So, Jamie. Mm. Sticking along the lines of the day. Yeah, yeah, of assaulting my grandparents. You insulted your grandparents, yeah. Um, you did the dirty deed that day, so you've got a can of dirty oh, deeds, right? Oh, the dirty deeds. The dirty deeds. Can of dirty deeds. New England IPA. Don't know what it tastes like. Looks nice, though. Well, I'm Probably shit, because it's not I'm EBK, having, but... I'm always having one on train cans, so... Oh, 6.6%. Oh, yeah, I'm going to get the long train on, baby. Oh, <laughs> choo -choo. The scenic route. You've seen me oh, pissed he's leaving. Oh, the midnight train to sure. Piccadilly. <laughs> To go to <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Here we go. I love that. Thank you I've very much for it. That's great. I fancy a beer now, but oh I'm God. Not finished. You're I'm not finished. finished. <laughs> There's one so, more. There's okay. one more. There's one more. Tony. Yeah. You're a lovely guy. Thank you. Yeah. The um but. but like myself, yeah. Um we like a bit of fast food, right? We're on the larger side, right? Yeah. Not trying to offend you in any way, but... It's facts, mate. Yeah, it's facts. Facts. And you work in the uh, entertainment industry. I do, yes. Yeah. Uh, where are you currently working now? Uh, 54. 54. Yes. What's your job title in 54? Oh, well, I've really got one, to be honest. You're just a fucking he's, dumb he's, one, aren't he's you? He's yeah, a Tony just, Carroll. Just, just you the face. It. The face. The face. The soul. Right. So, when you're in 54, throwing shapes, right? You're like a disco forklift to look <laughs> lad. <laughs> Because you're a unit. 
Oh god! Who the fuck named him? Drink. That's <laughs> my new name, man. This is called Forklift Truck. Truck. <laughs> that, that's so good, though. Who the fuck named these drinks? Oh. We need to incorporate that into the Plenty of Fish. Yes, oh, so definitely. Tony um, chatted up a bird last week okay. and called himself Dr. Love. Oh. It died on its ass, and then oh. he went, laughter's the best medicine, eh? <laughs> and it <died>. delivered <laughs> better than that. It's all about the delivery, <laughs> Pete. <laughs> 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 uh, um, uh, oh. So we decided we're going to set up a plant of fish called Dr. Dr. Love. Okay. Yeah. Um, we'll see if I can get but, some dates off it. But we need to incorporate that yeah, into the profile. Yeah. It's going to be like a fake fake one, but yeah. it's really going to be looking for love too. Yeah. So what I want to do is I want to try and get some dates as Dr. Love. Joe's going to be funny. We're all going to share the log in. And it's going to be like oh, secret messages of you dogs. like <laughs> sending your little dick pics out. But, you, <laughs> <laughs> but it's going to be like one of them. Hey, when you're a kid. You can't do that. Hey, when, you're like, when you're a kid and you send a risky text and you don't get nothing back and you go, oh, sorry, my mate had my phone. Oh, yeah, I'm going to say my mate had the logins. Yeah, mate had the logins. Talking about dick pics though, right? <laughs> yeah, we used to work with this lad and uh, the lad set up a fake Plenty of Fish account from Bird. I started like fucking sliding into this lad's DMs and he was all over it. He was falling in love with it and everything. They were sending messages to and fro for fucking ages. And uh, she, this, this fake account black, she worked in Morrison's over the road from the factory. And she was like, ah, I think I'm ready to meet you. Come meet me on my lunch. And then he just like, get off on lunch and go over to Morrison's. And she wouldn't show. She's like, oh, I'm so sorry, I was too busy and all that. And he's like, don't worry about it, babe, we'll meet one day. And uh, she, she texted him and was like, do me a favor. I'm ready to see your throbbing member go to the toilet and send me a dick pic, please. So we just went like that. And he, and he cover on the line, he cover on the line, darted to the bog and just sent a picture of his fucking veiny sword and all the lads on the line and just showing everyone his dick because they were the lads with the fucking goat. <laughs> so he's in the toilet with his joey out and they're all buzzing. Oh, where he's now? Oh, something happened in um, my college. This guy uh, just got fucking ripped. Same fucking catfished him sort of thing. Yeah. A couple of lads had, his, had the lock-ins. And... Um, Got his dick and he had like really wrinkly, like you're know, like you've been in the bath too long. He had a wrinkly cock. On his dick. <laughs> so, so he's been like falling in love with this this girl. Yeah, he finally sends him a dick pic and he went fuck off, wrinkled dick, and blocked him. <laughs> and then a week, like a week later or whatever it was, uh, a few days later, just all in the canteen and that. And he tries rip him on the lads, and the lad just went, shut up, wrinkled dick. <laughs> oh, <laughs> let it that. through, though. Let it through. You're just gone, aren't you? Oh, you're finished. <laughs> shut up, wrinkled dick, mate. Yeah, I've never, I've never really been one to send dick pics. Obviously, because it's fucking... You need the fucking, like, film crew to get my dick pic out of there, but... You know, like, you'd have, I'd have to have, like, someone holding me... I'd have to have someone holding me belly up. Oh, if we make sure your joey was I'd, massive. No, no, I'd have to have someone hold me belly up. <laughs> fucking kaleidoscope for a look at it. <laughs> I'd have to have my fucking neighbour roll me over from the fucking side. <laughs> Belly yeah. up. Nah, I'm yeah, I just, nah, I just never be, it's just, I don't know, it's just, you don't want to be fucking sending that. No, just no, in case that happens, you yeah. know what I mean? You're finished. Well, they've seen there's loads recently <laughs> where fucking people are holding people to ransom with dick pics and all that for money, aren't they? Are they? Trying to blackmail them, saying like, oh, I send it to all your mates. Yeah, go on then. And this lad just fucking Uno reversed it and went, sound, I'll do it myself and just inboxed all his mates with his own dick and went sorted. <laughs> 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 That's class, man. I'm not sure if you're like 16 or something, you've got yeah. your hormones up the wall, and then you do it, and then someone goes, Give me fucking five ton, or yeah. we'll send your dick to you, man. Yeah, especially. You, you're giving a five ton over, aren't you? we done that in school. There was a lad in our school, right? Um, thought he was God's gift to women, right? Fucking come in every weekend, oh, fucking smash his bed in the weekend, like you never, you yeah. ugly cunt, but uh, anyway, fucking thought he did. And we were like, get evidence, lad, don't believe you. And one day he came in with this video, right, and he got his phone out, and he's like, yeah, look, boys. And it's just like a dick going inside of Fanny, right? And then next minute it just turns, and it was just this big cheesy grin all made up. He's like, there's evidence, boys. And we were like, it's right, lad. And when he went to the toilet, we emailed the video to his ma. <laughs> you went to the same school as Adam Road, didn't you? Yeah. You emailed... Join your own nuts. <laughs> you emailed the video to his ma? Yeah. Oh. We got his ma's email address because one of the lads was like best mates with him and their ma's were best yeah, mates. Yeah. So we had his ma's email address and went to the email to his ma. Like, go ahead. Don't know if she opened it. They'd never come back on us. Like, but we emailed his ma a video. Oh, yeah. 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 I've seen my stepdad's stick pic on my mum's wallpaper on a Samsung D5. Oh, he has a stick pic as a wallpaper. Fucking me. What the fuck? <laughs> in the kitchen and all. Your ma is a slag lad. <laughs> 
Why has she got us a wallpaper? I don't know. So, so, so like... When she refreshes the phone, she gets to see dick. It was when I was like fucking 15, 16, I was like, oh, fuck it off. I've seen my stepdad's Joey in my ma's mouth. And like, me, have you seen the clip on our podcast where I phone my ma and asked yeah. her if she's ever chewed dick? And she's like, no, your dad went to his grave without me putting a dick in his mouth. She's a liar. She's a fucking liar because yeah. I walked in on her and she was chewing a fella off. It was the heaviest thing I've ever done. Like I, ne- I got off work every morning, six o'clock, straight down the stairs, out the door. Never wanted to think, I go into my ma's bedroom at six in the morning because it's fucking creepy. And this morning I got up and thought, I say to that to my ma and I just opened the door, my ma just like that. Ah, on the knees like, or? No, in the bed. In the just bed. fucking oh, chewing oh, his little purple headed body. And I was like, what? have a good day, mum. Just got off. And did he say it to you? She had a mouthful. She couldn't. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, did he say it to you? No, he no. wouldn't. I'd wink me, I suppose. Oh, imagine that. Seen, I've seen her son and just go, look, hey, but she doesn't know that you've walked yeah. in. He's seen you, but she's obviously fucking I walk, hey, I'm occupied. Good. And he just looks at it and goes... <laughs> <laughs> oh, be horrible that one, yeah. Hey. <laughs> Dick in your ma's mouth, man. I uh, I, wa- I walked in on my mum and stepdad just after the shag. So it's when it was like it is he it's just starting fresh up. I mean, it's on like thirteen, fourteen, yeah. and you know you, at that age you think, oh, my mum's never shagged me. Uh, I was conceived because she wiped me with a towel. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and I, I went, I went in, and he'd fu- they'd obviously like heard me coming. Yeah, that's why I had them coming as well. And uh, he just fucking got out, of, got out of bed rapid. But he, he just had a t-shirt on, <laughs> a fucking still got a rock on, and little tiny pee balls like that. What's it? What? 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 what, what, what oh, you just woke us up? <laughs> oh yeah, you woke up like that, did you? <laughs> fucking fifty-one, dick I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> but my ma's fell as a sex pest right bad and uh, is she still with them now yeah, yeah. and uh, I was in my ma's a couple of years ago and they both just got brand new phones Tesco Mobile they had them about three days right and he they haven't got a clue with technology you know what I mean yeah. he's like ah my, my phone's fucked I, I, I can't get on my gambling websites we'd have a look for it I tried to phone Tesco yeah. I tried to phone Tesco and they were saying oh, something to do with your, like, your, your cookies and your, your cache and I don't know what it is we'd have a look and I was like sound the phone was three days old right so I just went onto his fucking browser onto his settings I went onto history and it was like 62 pages of smut right <laughs> just, just like what? nan porn and like fucking animal porn and everything I was animal like, porn I was like lad you've had this phone three days yeah, you're fucked three working days mind you've been in a fucking a nine to five job and you've managed to build 65 <laughs> pages of history of porn you little was creepy bad, cunt was there any bad searches there I stopped on like page nine and it because <laughs> <laughs> I, I was scared there's going to be like children or something yeah. right and I was just like just cleared it and then just cleared this three lad I was like yeah, you fucking yeah, dirtbag yeah, yeah. lad he's wanking in the car and then coming home and then smashing me mark <laughs> <laughs> just thinking your mum's a ferret or something yeah <laughs> Yeah, trust you, Maros was a giraffe. <laughs> <laughs> Give us a neck at it. <laughs> <laughs> giraffe to do that, you know. Welcome, best you ever wrote. There we go, mate. Right? Um, uh, yeah, I saw. I saw. <laughs> but my favourite search ever was my brother Bell- Bless him. He was about fourteen, fifteen. I was just exploring himself. Like, my brother's got no filter. Like, he will just yeah. talk sex openly. Nice. You know what I mean, it was, it was on the bus once and went, What's that? Why stuff that comes out your dick to me, Dad? <laughs> in the middle of the bus, it's not out. Because <laughs> you, don't, you don't see the social folk no, power no, in no, it, no. do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You don't and, um, I had to uh, uh, he, I had to get my iPad back off him. <laughs> and you only know, go on Google and he's got the previous search. And thank God it was this. It was funny. It was funny. But I'm glad he's not like, you know, proper fucking gone. Yeah. He just searched. This whole search was man puts dick in woman. <laughs> <laughs> fucking literal that in it yeah, yeah. love it love to it. the point you ever caught your mum shagging S- same sort you were saying before never in the act but like oh, yeah. I remember it as a kid I was doing homework downstairs oh, oh, yeah. go on <laughs> say, say it slower <laughs> stop rubbing your legs you eat it <laughs> what say it slower what homework was you doing put the glasses on again yeah. <laughs> 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 just Rub your legs again. Yeah, go on. So you, oh, you lad, I on, can't so look you're doing, in the eyes like so that. So you were doing homework. <laughs> you were doing homework. Yeah, we're what upstairs. Home, what, what year so was you? In? What year was you in? 
Uh, probably like year five or oh something. Was in oh, it was during the uniform. He tore everything that again. <laughs> was you in uniform? Did you see his nostrils then he went. I don't think so. Oh no. Did you do PE that day? <laughs> was you yeah. a little pump? Yeah, that was nice and sweaty, Jamie. Oh yeah, go on. Then what happened? <laughs> And what happened? I, I went upstairs. Yeah. And they were under the covers and they were like, no, you've got to shout when you go upstairs. Oh, yeah. And I went shout. back downstairs, mate. I'm yeah, so the, hard to the, keep my gun. Yeah, them stairs are creaky. <laughs> and then I went downstairs and then, and then it didn't go back up. To the place. <laughs> Lad. I've never been so uncomfortable in all my life. Oh, so your mum was getting it? <laughs> 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 oh, <laughs> he's a sort of pedo shit. Oh, yeah, you do. <laughs> um, spe- you? Speaking of pedo juice, I need an ABK. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> don't lad, just gonna get us fucking cancelled, beat. Yeah, so I love her. Thank you. Um, why'd you get two out? Getting three out. Oh, if you have one, I'll have one. If you have one, I'll have one. I've been sober for one day. One whole day, Jamie. I think I went loopy, mate. Lad, that's there's something in this fucking beer, you know. I Since have... we've been drinking this, yeah, we've yeah. been saying some mad shit. I have been. What have we always said mad it's shit? For the clip. Um, yeah, I had 12 days in a row drinking, um, but not getting levered, just like three or four pints a night. And You're saying it... it as if you don't fucking ever not drink. And then, Every yeah. time I've seen Jamie, he's got a fucking drink in his hand. He has had his hand. No, that's, that's a mistake. He's got a super out of his mad sit and everything. Uh, <laughs> that's, um, yeah, and I had two days off and I felt fucking awful for it until I was drunk again. How oh, do you feel great? Yeah. Is that what alcoholism is? Yeah, it is. <laughs> do you know why people, like, do you know people who are alcoholics, why they die? Because they don't. Because they stop, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's what happened to Amy Winehouse, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, not the fact that Fella battered her as well and she was on loads of heroin. No, I think it was... It was, was it? Yeah, I think she stopped singing Skull Super. Oh, I like that. Do you know what that could go into? Wee-woo! <laughs> Conspiracy theories. Winehouse killed by a fella. Wasn't a fella like a nice fella? Mm, oh, yeah, no, that was Jay Goody, one. wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, Jeff Frazier. <laughs> Who's he? Jay Good is. He's nice. He's, he's the nice one, isn't he? Yeah, his yeah. son's in East Sanders now. He's brilliant. Is he? Yeah, yeah. yeah. He plays. Um, Who was Amy Winehouse's fella then? Pete Doherty, right now. No, no. Who was he? Who was he the same, they're in the same crew. She, he was one of the same crew. He was in one of the last one. Was he? Yeah, he was. Kate like Moss. Amy Winehouse and Pete Doherty were in a gang together. Oh, yeah, they were. The same firm. Yeah. Middle wall away. <laughs> Middle wall. <laughs> Middle wall away. <laughs> Amy Winehouse and Pete Doherty. Get the badge. Get the badge in. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> trying to make me go to Plymouth. Blake I said no, no, no. no, no. no. <laughs> Blake Field of Civil. Yeah. Did he, did he do it? Did he? Oh, he wore the hat. He wore yeah. trilby dinner. Did he do it? In? Yeah. I don't know. He did. Yeah. Conspiracy theory. Yeah. <laughs> How did you get fucking you get Nick for that? Slander, you know? slander? Uh, allegedly. Yes. <laughs> allegedly. You say allegedly, you sound. I've, yeah. learned, I've learned that the hard way. <laughs> Shame yeah. about Amy when I was one. She was fucking salt. She had soul there, mate. She was good. Yeah, well, she she was stunk as well. Like yeah. She definitely stunk, didn't she? <laughs> she smelled like the summer when it's about to rain. You know, and you just you can feel a smell in the yeah. air. Oh, that like that warm must, rain. Yeah. Must moist. Did she? Did she? Did she join? Was it? Is it the twenty-five club or whatever it's called? Or twenty-seven, 27 club, club, club. Twenty-seven club. Yeah. 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 Kate Cobain. Yeah, didn't he blow his Jim elbow? Morrison. Well, do it, oh. Jamie. Ooh. Conspiracy Ooh. theory time. It's not a conspiracy, it's facts. You can get me nicked if you want. But we all know who killed Kate Cobain, don't we? Ooh. Bet you don't know who it was, do you? Amy Winehouse's fella. Nope. <laughs> do you know who it was? JFK. Nope. Courtney Love. Nope. John uh, Parrott. <laughs> <laughs> he went, hey! <laughs> John Parrott! John Parrott, lads. Yeah, I'll tell you why. Go on. John Parrott was playing uh, an exhibition match okay. in uh, USA. And um, what happened was he was coming home from the sneaker match. He lost 9 8 um, to 
Jimmy, Nenzo, Jimmy White. Oh, was it White? Jimmy White got on the shite, so he didn't go home. He said, I'm going to stay here and get on the shite. Jimmy White. John Parrott's like, yeah. And then John Parrott went, I'm going to have to go back home to Liverpool. Right? So he was travelling through the small towns to get to the airport. He forced to stop off for a piss. And as yeah, I was having a piss, seeing his house, I thought, oh, nice, Dad. I want to check that out because I might move here, you know, because I like the USA and that. So he walked over to the house and seen Kirk Cobain in there. I was like, fucking hell, it's Kirk Cobain, you know, fucking, hello, hello, hello. And he was like, hello. <laughs> and he couldn't hear him. <laughs> so he thought, well, I'll knock and say hello, you know, because, hello, 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 yeah. So he knocked. And as he opened the door, fucking Jimmy White had a snooker cue. And he dropped it and it just bounced off the floor and just stuck it in his head. Was it, yeah? I thought Dad. he said John Parry. What? I thought he said John Parry. I did. You said White then. Oh, you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, he killed him with the snooker cue. Heavy that. Yeah, I know. Normally snooker players have the cues in half though, so he's carrying it fully assembled as well. Mad that. Uh, yeah, well, Courtney Love put it, put it together. Ah. That's why she got blamed for it. Makes sense. Yeah. Because her fingerprints are on the cue. <laughs> but she can't. <laughs> <laughs> you can't tell anything to John Parrott because he repeats it all. <laughs> oh, God. Talking about our parrots, right? I fucking love <laughs> Liverpool Echo news articles. Right? I opened Facebook before and it was the big it's fucking the shittest. It was just a big article life. and it just said, Man arrested on the M62 for having a parrot on his shoulder. <laughs> on the M62. Why? John Slow news day. That one in um, Birkenhead, wasn't it, when they was fucking walking the ferret? He was walking a ferret? They had a, had a lead around a fucking ferret or. I got, I got arrested. No, no, just <laughs> wound the window down. What are you doing? Walking me ferret. Have you ever seen the fella walking his, uh, his emu? Yeah. Seen him in that video yeah, years yeah, ago. Like, like, I'm his ostrich, he's a fucking emu, you dickhead. His name's Waters! <laughs> <laughs> Waters, he's a dickhead! What, you know what? You know, papers, though, like, like as you said, them slow news days. Yeah. Just don't report. Yeah. Like, imagine, not asked. imagine being that journalist in work. Going. But honestly, like, they must have, like, you must have, like, um, uh, like, fucking, what's it called? Like, where you, where you got to meet certain demands, fucking, like, you know what I mean? Yeah, Work. deadlines. Deadlines, yeah. yeah. So well, they must have. We all had a stroke there. We were all looking at like Oh that. my god! They must have deadlines though. Each yeah. journalist to, yeah. to hit. Or a quote. Hit honestly, well. honestly, like just I'll address it to you, Liverpool. Like, all right. Honestly, we don't care about man fucking falls over or outside the bombed out church and crowd cheers. Right? We don't care. That's not a story. Yeah. If there's nothing to report on, just don't do anything. Thank you. Cheers, Tony Carroll. King Lo- of the film. Local podcast producer disgraced as he does homework and stiffs his mum. <laughs> Let's make some stories up about Danny and get him in the paper. Do you want an old real story? Go on. Local podcast producer flashes outside nursery. You're out of order, mate. <laughs> Good job, you're cheap. It's okay. <laughs> we'll try and get Dirty Danny in the echo. We don't pay him, lad. We get we get funds for him off the council. <laughs> <laughs> Rehabilitation <laughs> program. That's why we're fucking recording early because his tag goes off. <laughs> tag goes <laughs> off. <laughs> it's three in the afternoon here. Eh? <laughs> He's got to sign Gotta be home by seven. <laughs> <laughs> He's nice to live upstairs. <laughs> Tea on Katie. Ever, ever been in trouble with the police? Not really. Not really. Not really no. As a kid, I got clean record. Him. Yeah. Yeah. Same. Um, I've got a clean record. Yeah. You defo haven't. No, you haven't. You definitely. Or have you actually actually ate enough? I got that time dinner. What? Got that time dinner. You know the seven seven bombings in London. Yeah. What you suspect? No. Oh. I went on the piss. Not to celebrate. <laughs> but <laughs> 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 yeah. He had the same way. He had the same way. <laughs> <laughs> it was obviously in July, wasn't it? Um, so yeah. we all went out on the piss after. Uh, it was like 14. And uh, some neighbours like grassed us up because we were drinking on the streets and that. Not being dickheads, just probably being a bit loud. And yeah. you know I mean, a game of Kirby got a bit out of hand. And that. Um, can't go off that game, mate. Like. <laughs> it's two points. He didn't go over the fucking car. Shut the fuck up, mate. I'll bottle you. Um, and uh, so yeah, so the, the day, so some fucking neighbours rang the police. So the police are fucking. We're all running through all the entries and stuff before yeah. they had fucking four gates, before gates and that. entries before gates. And um, I was at the nostalgic. Huh? I was at the bo- I was at the back of the pile, you know, like the fucking three-legged antelope. And 
bang, the fucking panda car pulls up, stops my run, like the Sweeney, mate, it was cool as fuck. And I had a little bag, I had one can of Carlin left, lukewarm. Uh, <laughs> that was a PC's name. <laughs> <laughs> Bravo! And he got out and he went, hello, 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 hello. Uh, what do we have here then? And I went, and it, and that was cake of bean, eh? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, leave it there. That's all I had. <laughs> Are you committing cra- crime? I went, no, it's just teen spirit. <laughs> oh no! No! You don't reverse me! You don't reverse me! Um, and he went, what, what are you doing, you, you little scamp? And because the 7-7 seven, seven bombings had just happened, I thought, please don't, I'm going to be on top here. So I just got to my knees slowly, like I was getting arrested for terrorism. I just went, I'll come quietly, I'll come quietly. I'm taking my bag off now and dropping it there. And PC Luke Warren went, lad, what are you doing? Just go home. He just put me in the car and took me home. But I cried. I, went, no, I cried my eyes out and went, don't tell me mum, she'll kill me. What but did you stop you off? He dropped me off to my mate's mams. Oh, fucking Luke Warren's fucking nice fella, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, yeah. PC fella. Luke Warren, mate. Yeah, I've never been a drug to police me. Never. I spent a couple of hours in a cell. We were going to farm. I just turned. 19 I think it was like 6 of us going to town I mean my ma lives literally fucking 5 minutes that way so we were walking in and uh, <laughs> we were walking into town fucking mate is that, where you're, is that where you're from is it yeah, yeah so nice fucking just the top of Myrtle Street oh there. yeah, yeah. yeah. so um, I'm walking into town this Matrix van just pulls up and fucking slams on opens the side door and he's like if you got any on you, shouldn't have. And I just went, yeah, our kids, Jack, he said I couldn't lend it. Thinking I was being funny. <laughs> was funny. And they just went and had their head bang back at the van. Let all my mates go to town and just drag me back to the cell. I was in the cell for like three hours, roomy night. Oh, just got let out and just walked home. Absolute why? dickhead. Not bad, I know. It's ones yes. like that. That's why people hate the police because of stuff like that. It's like, yeah. don't be a dickhead. You look like you're an undercover cop, you. Yeah, you are, you are. <laughs> you look like you're spying on us, you. Oh, um, yeah. Dude, them pigs. <laughs> <laughs> them hey, damn roses. He's a CSO on a peddler. <laughs> hey, Jamie, do you know where I might get a portion of drugs from? <laughs> Can I have one drugs, please, <laughs> guys? <laughs> drugs. You're plod, you. Can lad. I have one bag of coffee, please, <laughs> sir? You are plod. Lad, I if I was plod, you'd be in by now. wire on. <laughs> <laughs> you wearing a fucking wire? <laughs> Daddy's just drenched like that. <laughs> so I've literally got four mics in this room. <coughs> yeah, see, that's why you could with technology, because you're wearing a wire, you little fucking pig. <laughs> oh, you, oh, like, I mean, you should have got him some bacon, lad. Can we, can we go back to calling me a nonce? <laughs> what do you have, a nonce or a plod? <laughs> Probably a nonce, because it's a little bit more clearly a joke. You know? to what, you, to yeah, anyway. to you'd rather be a nonce than plod, so you'd rather shag kids then save our streets. You're wrong, you <laughs> Save our streets. <laughs> save our streets. There's men out here nicking the brothers' jackets. <laughs> like you said, there's a lot of money in being a nonce on a podcast, so... Leave it there. Oh. <laughs> Tony wasn't there. <laughs> Looks like we're going to have to be looking for a new producer soon. <laughs> <laughs> You're trafficking kids, aren't <laughs> Oh, how's, the, how's, the, how's the podcast going? Your podcast? What's happening? Podcast? It's going well. Very yeah. popular, yeah, especially yeah. in Liverpool. Yeah, it's going well. Um, Lots of people think I'm on it, you know, as well. Not, I don't think they think I'm you because I can't go finish it. Yeah, because you look like Danny. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I look like Danny's older brother, don't I? <laughs> um, so, yeah, so I, a few people say to me, Oh, you're the lad of the podcast, like with his like 40s. And I'm like, No, no, that's. The I buddies. think that's the thing. People see clips of yeah. podcasts and don't actually all, watch it. Because, like, oh, whenever, don't even whenever say, we get stopped, you just go, Oh, you're on that podcast yeah. and you go, what, what podcast one? is it? And they go, that one? You go, yeah, yeah, sound, yeah. yeah. Oh, when they go, um, oh, you're the lad of the podcast. I'm like, yeah, I am. Is it, is it good? Is it shit? You know, do you want to I just go? get, oh, the one with that blonde lad, he's sick, and he nice. Go, yeah, 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 I'm just on the couch. <laughs> don't worry about it. Worry about it. Most of the best clips are because of me, but don't worry about it. Yeah. I don't take it personally. It's fine. Yeah. Oh, mate, you sound it. just like me, you know what I mean? Because Jamie's the golden boy in comedy at the moment. And, uh, yeah, all of our biggest views are, you know, myself. So, look, I'm literally carrying them on my back. It's a big back. Exactly. <laughs> Want to jump on, Dad? Want to jump on the other side of the back? Some more coattails there, mate. Let's do a fucking conga right to the top. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of conga to the top, you've got a nice special planned... Can you talk about that? Oh. Yeah, 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 we can, yeah. yeah. So, uh, one of our sponsors, Technicals, the clothing brand, yeah. um, they are taking us and their 10 most loyal customers 
plus one to Mo Vame, Mo Famu, whatever you want to call Mo it. Famu. Yeah, uh, race to the top, capture the flag. What's happening versus technicals? Two teams of what's well, going to be thirteen because it's ten guests on each team, and then three people from the podcast and three people from technicals. Yeah. And there's a race to the top with challenges along the way. Uh, we were recording on the twenty second of September. Nice. So that'll be fun. Loads of free club again, and that was as well by technicals. So what kind of thing is it? Outdoors? Uh, yeah, it's just like fucking outdoor yeah, sports yeah. gear and all that. Um, <laughs> and they were like, so. We want you to keep it funny, like still be used, but you know, because technicals are owned by JD, so JD are funding it all. Yeah. So they're like, so we just still need to be a little bit careful in what we say. I was like, yeah, yeah, Sam, <laughs> I can't wait to fucking ruin it. Like. <laughs> it's gonna be hilarious. Yeah, I'm gonna be sponsors. wanking on the mountain and everything. Yeah, we great like that. Yeah. Hey, so, so it's gonna be it's gonna be a tough one, aren't it? Yeah. Face the top. We'd be are you even gonna try and win? Sad. No. I'm not even asked about winning. I just want to terror everyone who's there and just ruin it for everyone. <laughs> We've got a set of challenges. I'm going to do some horrible challenges. Like, you've got to do, like, 30 seconds with mouse traps on your big toe and everything. Just horrible stuff. Oh. I'm going to find some horrible shit to do. They're like, we're just a fan of the technicals brand. <laughs> <laughs> why, why, why is this lad putting mouse traps on me? <laughs> I just want some walking boots. <laughs> some walking boots. If you've got any ideas, let me know. We'll fucking ruin oh. everyone's day. I'm trying to think. Everyone's day is getting done in. Should I or Tony say to introduce you Tony and say Tony's the Sherpa? Fuck, do you want to come on in? Say Tony's the Sherpa. Just up as the Sherpa. And say I'll guide you up the mountain. <laughs> I know this mountain. I've lived here for 30 years. <laughs> I was raised by the wolves. <laughs> <laughs> and instead of having like a map on your phone, you just have like Pokemon Go. And just like <laughs> catching Bulbasaur and everything. Just a map, but I've drawn it myself. <laughs> <laughs> the GTA map. <laughs> the GTA map. <laughs> <laughs> like Vice City, you mean just to get the fold out one and everything? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. In the 1960s, I was handed this map, and I've been looking for a pot of gold ever since. <laughs> Rainbow do <dude> today. <laughs> <laughs> and the rainbow is situated on my cock. <laughs> Swallow the rainbow. <laughs> Swallow the rainbow? <laughs> is that oh. the new Skittles, haven't it? Which is in a rainbow. <laughs> no, no, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like the ABK? Yeah. Amazing. Thank you. Thank it's you. Gorgeous. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah. Makes us a little bit. Do you know what? Ever like I think here in the past, like I'd say six, seven recordings we've done. Right, we've had an ABK obviously because we have to. We're contracted to, and um, <laughs> I've ended up on a mad one ever, ever <laughs> after the podcast. Yeah. Lad, every time, <laughs> I've had, there's I've, something in it, you know. I've had I some. Can tell. It says I, hell on it. Yeah, it does actually. Yeah, I get. I think it is pants. actually warned us, isn't it? It's saying you <laughs> are gonna have absolute <laughs> hell after this. <laughs> I replace train cans with these. Oh, and uh, I forgot to take a bottle opener, so I was just doing it with my teeth. Oh, lads. Oh, no. I'll teach you how to do it my way. I oh, know, I can't do it. I tried it. Oh, you can leave it like that. Yeah. Did you? Yeah. Did you go along? Hey, Did watch it? this, Mum. Mum, look, Tony <laughs> told me this. Look. Oh, Mum, you'll have to open it. <laughs> go get stabbed, Dad. <laughs> go get stabbed, Dad. You can do it with his arse cheeks. <laughs> oh, little fucking dead flies on the top of all minutes. Oh, <laughs> little chocolate nibs. Uh, I used to fantasize about the perfect vagina. And it's always. <laughs> nice segue, Jamie. Nice segue. Oh. What, what is your perfect vagina? Instead of a clip. Yeah. yeah oh. it's, got, it's just got one yellow tooth. <laughs> and you can just do that with bottles. <laughs> Looks like the baby from Shrek. What? <laughs> the baby from Shrek. <laughs> no, that's Don't what. say that about me, kid, lad. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, yellow tooth. Bang. Why is it yellow? yellow? Yeah. Because yeah. then you know she's dirty. Oh, I love a good dirty woman. I love plaque. <sighs> dirty pig. Oh, I love a dirty woman. I love a bit of plaque, baby. Have you got a woman at home, Gary? I have got a woman I know at you home, have yeah. a woman at home. I met her last week. I've got a lovely woman at home. I hope she's not dirty. She's, yeah, she got four kids, very dirty. She's very dirty. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to lend me your woman, Gary, for a weekend? You've got to get past John first. I know, John's I know. In John's line. in love, isn't he, lads? Yeah, John's... John's I was going, ah, oh, it's funny that he's going, no, no, I am. I yeah, he's, going, yeah, he's... Do you meet? He's like, yeah, no, I'm okay. He doesn't, yeah. It's, it's going to happen, it's inevitable. Skelly, John's. Yeah, John's Skelly, yeah. <laughs> goes, so I went on holiday. take his beard off him. Yeah. Oh. I went on holiday. Literally just got back on, on Thursday. And... Um, 
I said to John, do you want to have my car while I'm away? So rather than park it outside, I said, John had my car. And he was like, I went, I'll get a valeted. He went, don't wash your bed seat, lad. Don't wash your bed seat! He went, I'm just going to sniff it. Oh. So then when he comes to drop the car back off, he come in. And he, he, he uncomfortably hugged me bed for about three minutes, right? Wasn't like over. <laughs> three minutes? Yeah, like three minutes. The kids were looking and going, there's this fella in the house looking at me, ma. This is your new dad? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's my bed. She went, this is your new dad, John. <laughs> <laughs> the kids are like, oh, Mr. Scully, Mr. Scully. Not tonight, lads. <laughs> no, no trainers. <laughs> no trainers. <laughs> Not tonight, lad. Oh. He shagged me bed with his fucking S.I.A. Hey, badge on his arm and everything. I, I get fucking jealous because John loves me. He hugs me loads. Maybe he wants to check you as well. Fuck by John. Oh, he'd be such would a you? good lover. He would be a good lover. Yeah. He'd just feel so safe, wouldn't he? Yeah. 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 he just go, oh, there's a creek downstairs. Like, not tonight, lad. Yeah. Just go down with oh, his fucking... Oh. And I, 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 I just like, like groaning. He goes, shh, no talking in the club. Oh, oh God. He'd fucking work down the bottom. So hard right now. Fold me around like a rag doll. Spice, I've had a stiffy today. But he'd throw you around like a rag doll, but still cook your eggs Benedict in the morning. I just love to wake like up, man. I just, I'd love to wake up, yeah. And I'm just like, I'm lying on his arms, and he's just got me, and he's just like, all my problems have went away. Yeah, yeah, should we put the notebook on? Oh, bro, back mountain. John would break your back, wouldn't he? Fucking smashing you. John would break yeah. your fucking, yeah, your spine. Yeah, you're just there fucking in cast, crippled. You've got your legs in stirrups, and the end is you from the front. And he goes through put transforms too. <laughs> he just <laughs> You've got you've got like plaster of parasol over both legs and he just punches a hole in your ass all your cast and just sticks his fucking. And just makes him. love to oh, your yeah. fucking ass. Yeah. <laughs> he, oh. Cho- like, he chokes oh. you but it's it's starting to get uncomfortable and he just releases it chokes it again. <laughs> <laughs> Lord, don't end and starts that again, lad. <laughs> and then starts Starts force feeding your leaflets to your torso like that. Yeah. Nah, lad, have them. That's to it. your torso. <laughs> yeah. Can I have meat and greet? Emphasis oh. on the meat, and then he fucking oh, bangs right inside you like that. <laughs> oh, you're just like you're just starting to like. Me so hard, my glasses you're just starting to get with them, yeah. <laughs> like, and you're just, you're just like in that. You know, we're in that period where it's just like dead, like just dead fresh and it's new, and you just love each other, yeah. and, and then you're just lying there, and he's he's just painting you, and he's like. Paint you like one of those French girls with crayons. With crayons, yeah. <laughs> and then he, he inserts the crayons in you. Yeah. And you're like, let's turn this yellow brown. <laughs> <laughs> but after he let go of my bed, right? <laughs> 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 yeah. I. <laughs> <laughs> Class that you <laughs> I uh, <laughs> I have to uh, <laughs> oh, oh. I have to drive him back to Kirby to pick his car up, right? <laughs> so we went back to Kirby, dropped him off and he was like, Nice one for letting me use your car, lad. I was like, no problem. And then he like, put his he hand like, on the gear stick. Yeah. He was like But it wasn't the gear stick. Massive, don't we, and he was like uh, <laughs> He was like, Nice ten days that Gary thank you. He was like, Don't worry about it, John. Don't worry about it. Got home. First day back, I followed. He said to me, Bird, should we get a takeaway? He was like, Yeah. So we ordered a takeaway, me and me, Bird, the kids sitting there, knock on the door, for get in, takeaways here, open the kids. I said to the kids, I'm with the takeaway. So I went moving off the couch because I'd be in the way. Kids opened the door and stayed out, yeah. I was like, What the fuck's that? It's not a fucking takeaway. John Scallon turned back up, right? Box of Krispy Kremes for the kids. Crate of Corona for me. Massive vase and two bouquets of flowers for me, Bird. I was like, How oh, was that for, John? He was like, Just let me use your car. And then just get it me bed again. <laughs> for another three minutes? <laughs> Got over for three minutes. Like, have you said hello to me, you little dickhead? <laughs> just tell me bed. And he just looked over his shoulder and was like, she's mine. And I was like, hard, oh, John. I'm getting, <laughs> I'm getting hard. I'm getting hard. She's got to be with us. I'll, I'll come in. He's mine. He's all of ours. You just can have him. We can share him. No, you just can have him, honestly. I don't want to fucking, you know, you just can have him. He's the best. Well, I'll have him Monday, Tuesdays. I know, he's, I know he needs to de-stress after the Monday open mic night and he'll come home and like, oh, I had all these open micers in. I went, shh, John, shh, I'm not just rubbing his shoulders. I'm like, oh, let, me, let me take your little badge off. Come on, you don't need that. Just like massage his shoulders and I can just hear him, like my big bear going, Rrr. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I'll get his porridge ready in there. And then like you just fucking, you take his badge off but then you put it in his other badge, sheriff badge. <laughs> <laughs> I go, oh, I'm your deputy. You're the sheriff tonight. 
I think there's been a party in my saloon. I shot the sheriff in his ass <sighs> when he come, but I did not. I'll kill tie, the deputy. Deputy. <laughs> I'll tie myself to I'll tie myself to his model railway that he's got in his loft, and I go help, choo, help, choo. Oh, help, 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 and he comes in stirrups on. Just underpants. He's got a lumberjack chair on. Yeah, white oh. underpants though. A lumberjack chair. Little, little holster, but in the holster it's loop. And he goes, like oh. Will Fell and the Step Brothers, but as a therapist, <laughs> he bursts in the door with <laughs> his lumberjack. <laughs> yeah. I'll get you out. And he unties the knots of his teeth and oh. kisses down the body. But you don't like getting kissed down your body. Well, okay, well, it's John, isn't it? John's yeah, morning, but I fall over. Yeah. John, I'm like, I'm like, stop, stop, stop. Come on. <laughs> and they make love on the railway. John's like that in court. Honestly, make you love don't know. on the railway. On the railway. So you're on all fours. On his model on track. No, no. I'm on his model railway. Again. Okay. On his model railway, yeah. And he he goes in a bit too hard and go. Oh, the train's cancelled. This is a bus replacement. <laughs> it's longer and harder for you. You know. Then we watch Transformers too. <laughs> 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 and then he says in court, honestly, Your Honor, Jamie wasn't saying no. He was going. <laughs> <laughs> what Where did you go on holiday, by the way? Um, uh, Spain. <laughs> Where did you go on holiday? <laughs> Let's get off this subject. Yeah. About making love to the uh, Hot Ones comedy head dormant. Yeah. You say <laughs> that was about 12 minutes of John. The last longer than me. You should, all, <laughs> should all call him Optimus Prime now. He loves, he loves fucking oh. Transformers. <laughs> I'm going to get him a Transformers DVD for Christmas and he won't have a clue what's going on. <laughs> we're going to get the Bumblebee pencil case. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Bumble. Hi, <laughs> Bumble. Start calling him Bumble. So where'd you go, Spain? Yeah. Uh, we're about Spain. Uh, La Cala Finistrat, it's fucking like it, a Nala from Benidorm. Family, so. family kind of. Yeah, it was me, yeah. me missus, the, the four kids. John. John. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was in the room on my own, John was with me bird and the kids. Um, me bird's mum and dad, uh, his sister, uh, kid. Oh, big one, then, yeah? Yeah, big firm of us, fucking proper firm. It was good, it was, was nice. It, was it chaos though? Was it chaos taking the kids away now? Because there's four of them. <laughs> Are they not? Yeah, I know, the good kids. Uh, really yeah, good kids, yeah. yeah. And the baby was fucking dead. Is it not one night you want? It's not really a role quite. It depends, so the baby, he's fucking dead boisterous. He's got a big massive head, he's swollen and everything, he's a fucking dickhead. Um <laughs> but he was dead well behaved. <laughs> and then we've got uh, a six year old, he's at the minute, he's the biggest tit. But yeah. he was okay. He'd had a few moments, but we have to just shout at him, and then the yeah. nine year old, he's autistic. Um and what he does, he, he'll just snap and batter his little brother all the time. Yeah. So we were like, right, these going to kill each other and all. But he was well, sound, right, yeah, so it was all right. I think it. ginger kids, he just knocked them out. So yeah, was yeah, it. Yeah. Was fed to be fair, them. though, gingers are quite hard to knock out, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's proven, yeah. in it? We need a higher level of anesthesia, don't we? Fucking we're, when you're going under. We're resilient. Yeah. So when you're when you going fucking get an operation. Well, you're out of love. Yeah. <laughs> He's on it tonight with his music. Hey, Yo, just wait, it. mate. I'm out of love. Set me free. What was the other one? Uh, when I'm left outside alone, alone. It's, it's cold, cold out here. Cold out here. And baby, well, you should you know, know just how it feels, feels to get bummed by John Skelly. With his big ears. And his massive welly. <laughs> <laughs> and his massive belly. Oh, Tony. Oh, think I'm asked. <laughs> fucking pot kettle black <sighs> Listen, I'm changing. You've met John, haven't you, Dana? The, the fella outside? Yeah. Yeah. Do you like him? I mean, not enough to get into as much detail as you did. Like. You don't like him? I mean, I do. I well, don't I want to tell you do him. like him? I just don't I want him to like him. 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 You do like him? Hey, so, I just don't oh, want him to fish me. likes John. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> you want, does he want to fuck John? Are you blushing? Do you want to fuck John? I can't believe how much you fancy John, lad. <laughs> what, what, what I just don't want to take him off you, you know what I mean? Danny. Danny, yeah. The producer, yeah. Oh. He, he watched my car get a parking ticket last week. Oh, that's where the beef is. That's where the beef is. Hello, lad. Sound like you're okay. <laughs> yeah, man. You good? Yeah, yeah, we're just talking about it on the pod, right? About how much you smashed my bed. Yeah. Yeah, sta yeah. standard, innit? Standard, innit? Yeah. Standard practice, innit? Um, where, where, where do you think I fuck off to when you're in up here? <laughs> <laughs> it's a sound like that. Yeah, she, she always. 
I've got the spare key, I've gone to yours. Sound, show us smells like John anyway. <laughs> Listen, the reason I'm phoning you, right? Uh, producer man Danny in the corner. <laughs> Fuck. Said he's not into you, you know. He said he fucking hates you and he's going to smash your head in. <laughs> I don't go ahead, I'm outside, mate. <laughs> 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 He's laughing at all from the inside of the ship himself. Oh. <laughs> 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 He's got a bit, now. <laughs> oh. He's fucking bummed. That's what happened to Dylan, you know. <laughs> that's where he went. Like, He's in John's boot. <laughs> <laughs> John off me. He fucking got launched from the Mersey. Uh. <laughs> oh, hell. Cheers, know. boys. Cheers. Cheers, Amy K. Always Slang be killing. And all that. Always be killing. <laughs> We've got another double, haven't we? Yeah, we got one after this. Fuck me, that and Patreon's gonna be weird. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. Yeah. This has been like a Patreon, hasn't it? This has been like that level. That's when you know they're the best episodes, mate. I love yeah. it. We can be ourselves. I love it when we the guest ex- brings the heat and gifts. We can explore our sexuality. Do you know what I really wanted to bring is, and I couldn't fucking get it anywhere. Where? Have you had that dragon soup yet? Huh? So it's alcoholic energy drinks. Oh, that, that'll fuck all of a heart attack. Like, so like it's like an 8% drinks. fucking monster. I'll have a heart attack, me. Yeah, fuck that. So I've heard about it and fucking been Googling it and I just couldn't find it. Like, what, what, so, so it's just okay. like a rebel with vodka in it? Vodka rebel? Right. Yeah, it's fucking mad. Fuck you, please. Oh, look now. How can't you open a fucking pack of fingers, man? Fuck. Fuck now. Look at us. Look at 7.5%, 8%. Dragon soup. Are you looking for something to open? Can't open that. Yeah, can't open it. Using you've charged on on your on your headphones. (sighs) Not good for rappers, mate. Who's your favourite rapper? Me. Who's your favourite rapper? Good chat. Uh, Ooh. Depends. Rappers these days are shite, aren't they? Yeah, the new stuff's crap. Probably at the minute, currents. Probably J. Cole, maybe. Bit of a lyricist. I like yeah. Dave. Dave's good, Santan. Dave's, Dave's good, good, yeah. yeah. Um, I don't really have a favourite rapper. I'll just fucking binge. Say All time's songs. gotta be Nas for me. Nas is great and he's massively underrated as well. Like people talk about like Tupac, Biggie, and all yeah. that. When you look at the fucking longevity, Nas is absolutely smashed. Exactly, it. mate. Who's it's your like favourite rapper? I'm, I'm the same, I just go through them. But right now, I've, are you on to Killer Mike? My 12 year old kid, you different. On to <laughs> Killer Mike. Killer on the jewels, lad. You put to listen to rap. Yeah. Yeah, you listen to country music, soft swat. Listen to nursery rhymes, lad. Get it right. You need to know what? them. Nursery, nursery rhymes. rhymes, get it right. Wow. Danny. Danny, <laughs> come on, man. This is a public podcast. This is a public forum. I mean, you By just... the way, we're representing the comedy club as well, you know what I mean? It's not just... It's Fucking hell, lad. <sighs> Fucking hell, Danny. On, mate. Fucking hell, man. A little Miss Muffin to sit on your trough at your scruff. <laughs> You scruff? Where's that come from? <laughs> you scruff? Oh God! <laughs> I just got chocolate in his nashes, look at him. <laughs> oh, he's got remnants. He's got remnants of his nan's bullet hole in his teeth, and he's calling people scruff. Oh. Are you there? So you, you, you're on tonight, aren't you? Can you I'm on tonight? tonight. Yeah, I'm on tonight. Have you had the yeah. first gig in a while for a few weeks. Yeah, yeah, I, uh, yeah. First one in maybe. Two and a half, three weeks. Yeah. Yeah, I, I had. I cleared my diary before the holiday because fucking last minute holiday <laughs> shopping and packing and all that. And then I got off at the gig on the Friday before I went paid and I was like, ah, fuck it, extra money in the bank. Yeah. I just fucking died on my ass, lad. It was right, hilarious. Was I, uh, I opened for Frankie Allen. So yeah, always gonna happen, lads. I got, I got a message. Will messaged me. He was like, ah, fancy opening for me, dad. And I was like, yeah, Sam, yeah. it's. Paid fucking 150 notes or something for yeah. a little fucking 15 minutes slot. Yeah. I was like, I'll do it. 150 quid to spend yeah, on an audience, audience, I imagine. Well, are they just a rowdy audience? Yeah, so we got there and. They're it, all let us see it. The thing is, though, as well, like, that's what it's old school fucking just offensive uh, yeah. girl people, and that's all they want is Frankie. But there's the shows that they put on, and then there's venues who say, Oh, will you come and do a show for us? So they had nothing to do with it, really. It was the venue selling the tickets. And when we got there, it was up in um, Warrington. And it was like picnic style tables. So oh, everyone was man. side onto the stage. Oh, so no, yeah, no, insane. yeah, like that beer keller, yeah. no one was looking at the stage. Uh, I opened and it was a fucking dead tinny microphone. Oh. Yeah. The PA system was terrible. The back couldn't hear me or not. And so I started fucking storytelling. And like three people on the front row were listening. 
no one else was asked. Then like one fella got up to go to the toilet and he had the tightest kecks on and I just went, oh, what time did you get up this morning, lads, getting them kecks? And everyone started laughing and I thought, that was the shittest joke ever, why are you laughing at that? Yeah, yeah. I thought, that's all you just want. So I had like so three minutes it. left, just called people, fucking scruffs and all that, got a few laughs and went, I'm getting off, see you later. <laughs> I won't call that, 50 sheets, baby. Yeah. I won't call that a death, though. Oh, no, the first 12 minutes, like, no I'd, call, I'd call it a death when everything's right for you. Yeah, and then you still and yeah, you still fuck up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, a death. Yeah. That's a death. It's like coming to hot water and, and like not getting laughs. That's like that's. You just should have a word with yourself. There, yeah, then. I think you should give up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm not even. I'm not, no, not no, even no, lying. If you if you come to hot water like comedy and you don't get any laughs at all in five ten minutes, just, wrong just do you. not do it ever I've again. Seen it a few times. That like American. Honestly, mate. don't do it again. Yeah. That American on that Friday. Lads, that he was, was the mad. best. Is that the one you had on the podcast? Yeah, yeah, yeah. lad, he was actually all right on the podcast. He was actually quite funny. Like, have you seen his score on the? On the sheet downstairs, no, because they score all the acts, don't they? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, I think he got a one out of ten, and got put down as a Tuesday night act. <laughs> when the club's shut, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a night on a Tuesday. <laughs> it, says, it says Tuesday night, excluding Tony Cadillac. Pre your ah. pre your night, wasn't it? Yeah, he, he was. was bad, mate. Well, he was he was slagging people off yeah, in the yeah. green room. Thomas Green who's on tonight. He was fucking saying, he was like, what the fuck's he on? Fucking, I should, be, I should be headlining tonight and all that. See what he did with the staff as well? He was like, you can't let a double. It's like a, it's like fucking, <laughs> uh, I think it was Becky at the time. Yeah. I was like, mate, you don't want to fucking yeah, prod that dragon, mate. You're <laughs> fucking gone, lad. Prod <laughs> that dragon. <laughs> yeah. Just yeah. get back up to shooting up schools, lads. See you later, didn't Just, he? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just being dead rude to staff. But yeah, he was, he was actually, he was like, um, I was working him when he was one. He was Mark. He was. It was Mark. Was on a podcast. He was like, uh, how can I say it? He was. He had our sense of humour, kind of, didn't he? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was all right to be fair. And then fuck on, I got. All, I just was that because the podcast was him, and then downstairs he tried to have a persona on stage, and it just. No, didn't okay, he was reading notes on it on stage. Friday night gig, mate. He was reading notes. Yeah, it's embarrassing, I don't know. Yeah. And, uh, he, he, uh, Can't uh, even get a Thursday, the cunt. I, I still remember some, <laughs> I still remember some of his. Are you uh, still on a Wednesday like me? Yeah. Fuck it. Lad, right, listen, right, I've. I trust the fucking people who own this club. They know what to do, and it's a fucking fantastic club. Yeah, yeah. that's the and line we all say. I get no, <laughs> and I get up my own, I get up my own ass at times. Like I feel like I've had a fucking boss gig and I go, I know I've done well tonight. I'm ready to progress to a Thursday. Yeah, and Binti always just goes, no, like you'll you'll know when you're ready. And I'm like, sand. You know when I done the Tony Carroll and Friends last time? Yeah. I thought like, I had one of the best gigs. Yeah, you absolutely fucking, fucking nailed fucking it. I feel like I roofed it. I come off stage fucking made up and everything. Went into the green room, fucking made up like high five and everyone was there, fucking yeah, I'm the man. And then Binti was like, can I give you some constructive criticism, lad? And Binti never tells me anything. And I go, yeah, please, Binti, I've been craving it. Yeah. Please. And he went, um, your opening was incredible. Your crowd work when you nailed that bird from fucking Rock Ferry. He went, unbelievable. He said, but then your writing couldn't follow it with shit. And I just went, uh, oh, when you're on the highest smash. I was like, well. how'd you what? fucking absolutely nailed went, it as well? He went, you're naturally funny. He went lean into that more. He said, your writing isn't strong enough to follow that. He said, you're open so strong, you couldn't follow. He said, it was a weird one. He said, you got laughs because you started so well. Yeah. He was like, but lean more into your natural funny side and doing a bit more crowd work rather than just trying to write gags. And I was like, and it took me about three days to get over it and register what he was saying and go, fair enough. He knows what he he's talking about, yeah, you yeah. know what I mean? But I was just like, Oh, we were friends. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I've got my first. I've got my first feedback from the frog on my email. I fucking nailed the eight yeah. spot. I mean, did you know Danny Davis said you're banned for six months for being racist? <laughs> oh, did he? <laughs> got banned for six That's months. Funny, yeah. Four got four applause breaks. Fucking, I cleared it here like fucking five months in or something. And I, I went. Oh, so I thought I'll ask for feedback, and then at the end of the feedback they'll go, "Yeah, we'll put you on a Thursday." Yeah, yeah. And the first time was, I didn't find anything in your set funny. It was laser, stereotypes. Oh. Well, I used to have my big bit then. We saw that the different, accent, the big hole, well. the different accents in yeah. in the country. I imagine that as a high school. Yeah, you know yeah, I mean? so yeah. It was yeah. like the Glasgow was the hard kid and yeah. all that kind of stuff. Yeah, the Geordie yeah. was the thick one and stuff yeah. like that. I just played up to it, basically. Yeah. And he went, stereotypes. Just, just lazy stereotypes. Well, I was new, I was working it, I was just working stuff out. And uh, he went, the audience seemed to like it, so maybe I know nothing, but I've only worked here for 20 odd years. Wow. Well, fucking hell, all right, wow. lad. <laughs> wow. So another Monday then. <laughs> <laughs> I've had a few high scores for the last few gigs I've done, haven't I? Good. Yeah. Keep going. I've had a few good ones, yeah. So. Nah, you, you're good, and you know you're good. 
Yeah, well, I'm all right. I'm all right. I just uh, I have trouble writing sometimes, but I have been better. I've, I've just come, I've wrote a brand new twenty set. So the thing is, though, as well, like you can't force it. Yeah, you can't, and that's where I've been recently. Yeah. I'm fucking struggling writing. You come I just to can't live get on stage. Out. What? You come to life on stage. But that's what I'm saying. Anyway. It, when you're on stage and you're just Tony, yeah, you don't need the power of writing because you're just. I think the stigma is though when you when once you start doing stand up and how long I've how long I started yeah. to go, you always thought you needed the material. Yeah. When now I go with a blank with a blank. Yeah. And it's nice to have thing. that material yeah. to fall back on. In yeah, case yeah, of course. Working. But I've just been going on with nothing at all and just doing crowd like, work and just riff, <laughs> riffing. Well, say. Exactly. Riffing but when when you're an MC, like obviously crowd works, you're forty. That's what you're yeah. meant to be doing. And I panic. Still, because I'm new, when I go on as a as a, a, a slot and go, but if I do any crowd work, I'm stealing something from the MC, and I, I don't know how to address it. Yeah. And I've yeah, heard I think a few you, arguments. If you've got to do crowd work, though, I think you I think you have to be there from the start of the show. Yeah, make sure you don't speak to any the, the MC people. people. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, it, save it, some for the MC, obviously. Because I've seen some uh, arguments in green rooms. It depends. It's, if you're asking the same questions they've just asked, that looks yeah. like just sloppy. Do you know yeah, of course it is. You can. I reference the name. Say if Phil Chapman or whatever has gone. Mm-hmm. Got their names. I go oh, and I'll say, "Oh, you know, you know what I mean, don't you?" Anthony? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It means I've been vague in the room and present in the room and that. stuff. Yeah. And by just remembering someone's name and saying it, you're always gonna yeah, throw yeah. away laugh anyway because people go, "Fucking, I remember." Yeah, names, yeah. You know what I, mean? yeah I, I understand where I understand where the MCs though would like say because you basically say if you're if if you're on the front row and the MCs like asked half of the front row yeah. and then your openers ask you the half, you like. You are taking away a little well, bit. But that's the thing, an MC might go up like hot water, you've got your wraparound stage, you've got your fucking right centre left. Yeah. First section you might do right, second section, middle. But you can speak to the, you left, don't you so. know there's loads of questions you can ask. Yeah. And also as go. well, I, 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 I've noticed everyone just asks stuff the left, right and centre, you know, the front row. But I think it's good to ask other rows as well. Yeah, even though yeah. even though it's it is hard it's to hard to yeah. yeah. you have to duck down and maybe yeah. do that, but I've started doing that as well because it felt like it's people like people come to repeat shows as well. Yeah. It looks like you're just you're just asking for the front row all the time. Yeah. And then and then people some people want to want to come and interact with with, with, with comedians here, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I think it's best nice to point people out and of course it is, of course it is, because that holds what, two hundred and twenty eight downstairs yeah. and you can get what, twelve, fifteen people on the front row, that's it. Yeah. So there's so many people who've come for a bit exactly. of fucking action and they miss out. So yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's good. Worthwhile. And then you leave and you, you all argue over who gets to kiss the bouncer's neck. That's it. Well, I've told you, you can have him. I've got a, I've got a girlfriend now. So. <sighs> There's enough for John to go around. I've got a girlfriend. Yeah, but she looks a double of John. <laughs> it's John and drag, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna love this. Um, where can people get you, mate? We we'll need to wrap up because you're on stage. Um, and <laughs> in there, <laughs> being around you too long. <laughs> And him, <laughs> Peter, Peter over there. Nah, that'll be dead by tomorrow. <laughs> John's gonna get me. Yeah, John's you will. Fucking, gonna fucking John's van. Get in the van. Yeah. Um, Instagram, uh, Gary Highland comedian. And um, what's happening? Pod. What's happening? Pod in it. Um, yeah, just three of us chatting shit in it. Um, tour sales by more. Tony Carl and friends on Yep, Tuesday the 26th of September Get down, get your tickets Fucking chaos as usual And everyone's using that word now They're robbing it to sell tickets I've noticed, so stop doing that as well Pricks We're going to record a Patreon after this And you think this is weird We're both knackered The Patreon is going to be fucking bizarre Bizarre um, Somewhat inaudible um, But absolutely avant-garde podcasting And you can see it for free with a free trial Patreon.com slash Hot Waters Green Room. Seven day free trial, but stick around. Don't cancel after you try, you fat smeghead. Bye. Goodbye. Nice one, boys. Thanks,